Today, David Wooten, we found him floating in the bow. He died sometime last night. It was just too much for him. The scariest day of our lives, we really thought we were going to die. Where is your house? Oh, I'm so sorry. There's the road, my car is maybe from other fields inside the swamp. It's really bad. Yeah. We all, you know, gathered together in the hallway with a mattress on us and, you know, Oh. Hoping for the best. We just bought the house two months ago. Two months before the storm came. So. But it's like if we go somewhere else, we worry. So we just stay here and try to do the best with what we got. He died sometime last night. It was just too much for him. He's lost his wife. I guess he figured he just didn't have anything else to live for because everything was tore up so bad. But last night he was in good spirits, but this morning he came up missing. We couldn't find him, so we looked and uh, he had uh, he committed suicide. He had tied an anchor to his waist and walked out into the water, and uh, that's where we found him. Oh, my God. He's 92 years old. Uh, the other thing is the town. Okay, go get him. Yeah. The town says okay. that they're not going to let anybody build a new because there's not infrastructure here. And I understand that one of the things that you have to do is uh, resurvey the town. It's and, uh, really bad. Yeah. My family, I, I got some family involved in Fort San Joe. They're doing, they're doing fine. They're doing good. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Are you going to get to Fort St. Joe or are you? No, no. I am just going away to see what happens. I'm just not cooking, actually. Because I love to cook. Oh, OK. And I The really fantastic thing about kindness is that it's free and it can't hurt you or anybody else. It is the thing that brings us all together. We are unified in our humanity. And the only thing that we all know, we all appreciate in one another, is kindness.